Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the contest director for the writers and illustrators of the future, Ms. Joni Labaki. Winning one of the quarterly prizes in the Writers and Illustrators of the Future contest is a tremendous achievement. However, each year, all of our judges review the prize-winning entries and bestow the highest honor, the Golden Brush Award for the Grand Prize-winning Illustrator and the Golden Pen Award for the Grand Prize-winning Writer. It's more than just an impressive trophy. We also present the Grand Prize Writer and Grand Prize Illustrator with an additional check of $5,000. And now, yeah. to present the L. Ron Hubbard Illustrators of the Future Grand Prize Golden Brush Award, please welcome Kristen Bauer Van Straten and Illustrators of the Future Coordinating Judge Ron Lindahl. It's such an honor to be here for this epicyclic contest. And after all these years and all the winners, 300 almost, that we've had over the years, it's great. And each of our artist winners has shown exceptional talent and dedication to their craft. It takes both of those to win the finalist spot and earn the right to be here. In addition, the gold award is given to one winner from among this amazing group of winners as an extra acknowledgement of their talent and a vote of confidence in their future. So the 2012 Illustrators of the Future Golden Brush Award with its fabulous trophy and a grand prize check for $5,000 goes to the illustrator of the Siren, Hunter Bunyan. try and carry that thing so <laughs> I would just uh, no. um I did not expect to win this award um I I, I don't even know man <laughs> I guess I should just say this contest has uh, shaped has shaped a part of me forever um this will stay with me throughout my entire career I will I will keep thinking back to this for the rest of my life. It'll be as important as like my family shaping a part of me ever since I was going to the theater all the time, going to art classes all the time, going to college, getting my work critiqued. This contest has like culminated that into this pinnacle of awesome. <laughs> so. <laughs> can tell I didn't prepare a speech for this, so I'm just kind of winging it, but I should, I have to thank Hubbard, because, you know, without him, this would not be possible, this wouldn't have happened. I have to thank everyone again, like, everyone from our drivers who picked us up at the airport and, like, ran around in circles trying to find who I was from this picture I sent them of me behind a tree log with hair, like, <laughs> they begged me to send them something better, and I, did, I didn't have anything better, so they're, did you bring the tree with you? No. <laughs> So, um, I, I don't have inspiring stories, I just, I don't have, like, this incredible wit or anything, but I just want to thank you, everyone, for believing in me and helping me get here. You guys are amazing. <laughs> yeah. 
To present the Writers of the Future Golden Pen Award, please welcome Marisol Nichols and Writers of the Future Judge and Workshop Instructor, Tim Powers. Many of our winning writers, both gold award winners and published finalists, have gone on to great success. They've become international bestsellers and won the highest accolades in the genre. We expect that tonight's winning writers will all continue to create great stories. This context, contest exists to help create enthusiasm among writers and build momentum for their careers. So the Golden Pen Award tonight will give a special boost to someone and we're very pleased to give this special honor to one of our writing winners. The 2012 Writers of the Future winner of the Golden Pen Award and Grand Prize Check for $5,000 goes to the writer of the story, The Paradise Aperture by David Karani. I don't know if in 28 years anyone's had a heart attack up here, <laughs> but there's always a first, I guess. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I picked up a copy of The Name of the Wind uh, by another former winner, Pat Rothfuss. And in the intro to that book, I read about a little contest called Writers of the Future. Fast forward to this past January, and I got a call from Joni asking me if I was sitting down. <laughs> because not only did I win, but I won first place. And it was a surreal moment. One in which Joni patiently endured several minutes of, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, wow. <laughs> and needless to say, I very quickly learned that there is nothing little about this contest. I want to be sure to thank Paul Peterson for your amazing illustration. It showed me dimension to my story that I had only dreamed about beforehand. And I want to thank my fellow writers. This week wouldn't have been the same without each and every one of you. So to all you guys, keep pushing forward. And here's to the future. Thank you. This marks the end of the 2012 L. Ron Hubbard Achievement Awards but just the start of a whole new year of superb creations from tomorrow's stars of science fiction and fantasy. Let me close by encouraging everyone who is an artist at heart. Keep writing, keep illustrating, keep creating. Take that next step, submit your story or your illustration for consideration, and we hope to see you on the winner's stand in the coming years. You do have a chance to pursue your dreams and help build a finer tomorrow. As L. Ron Hubbard stated, works of art are viewed by people, they are heard by people, they are felt by people. They are not just the fodder of a close-knit group of initiates, they are the soul food of all people. Please join us now for the eBell Club reception to honor tonight's winners, past winners, and our distinguished judges. See all the predictions made 25 years ago, make your own 25-year prediction for the year 2037, and peruse the L. Ron Hubbard Complete Biographical Encyclopedia. Most of all, don't miss out on your chance to ask some of tomorrow's star writers and artists for their very first autographs as published professionals. Congratulations to all the winners, and thank you all for being with us tonight. Enjoy the rest of the celebration.